In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add your emotes, like you had previously in your old avatar. However, this one you get to customize it a little bit more. To start, what we're going to do is we're going to create a menu for our expressions. What we're going to do is create submenus after that. To start, let's create the menu, the main menu. So we go to our VR and chat descriptor here and click customize on the expressions tab down here. We're going to need a menu and we're going to need parameters. So in our animator folder, we're going to create a menu by right clicking create VR chat avatars expressions menu. We're going to name our avatar and then main menu. Next we're going to create our parameters. So avatar name parameters. In the parameter menu they have already added the VRC emote parameter which is going to be useful for what we're going to be doing today. We have created our main menu but we are going to create a sub menu for our emotes. So let's create another menu and call it our avatar name and then we're going to do emote menu. If we go back to our main menu that we created, we have a controls panel. We're going to add a control. Let's name it emote, oh, emote menu. We're going to the type here. We're going to collect or er, select sub menu. And we're going to drag and drop the sub menu that we have created into the sub menu here. So once we're done with that, we are going to drag and drop in our main menu and our parameters into our avatar descriptor. What we're going to do is drag it in here at the bottom for the expressions for menu and then parameters at the bottom there. So once we're done with that, we're going to create our action animator and VRChat has already created one for us in the VRChat SDK folder examples 3 animation controllers it is going to be the first one here called um, VRC avatar action layer like the last tutorial we're going to duplicate this and rename it to our avatar name and then action. Now that we have created our action animator, we are going to drag it into our animator folder. Once we're done with that, we are going to click the action box here and drag it into our avatar descriptor just so we don't forget later on. The next step of what we're going to do is click on the action animator and if you didn't follow the last tutorial, you want to open up your animator tab by going here. And I just dragged it into here, the little bottom here. Now we're going to put in our own animations and it's going to show however many we put in. So it's not going to show the rest if we don't add it to the menu. So these are the eight emotes that you have. VRChat has already put it in here. It's uh, right here at the top. We're going to start with stand wave and this is completely dependent on your emotes. If it's a short emote, we're going to set it to a button. However, if it's a loop emote or it's a long emote, we're going to set it to a toggle. So that way, if we want to cancel the animation, we can do that. To start the process of adding our animations, what we're going to do is go to our emote menu that we have created. We're going to add the amount uh, equal to the amount of emotes that we're going to add. In this case, I have three emotes in my emotes folder we're going to add. Once we do that, we're going to set the type uh, later once we have the emotes in. So for each emote, you can set it to each different one here. And it doesn't matter. You can just rename it later on. Um, what we're going to do is basically just add these. So we want to go to our emotes folder and add our emotes. So for stand wave, I'm going to add this emote here. For clap loop, I'm going to add this emote. 
I'm just going to add it for the first three. So backflip point instead of stand point. Now, this is where it gets a little complicated. Depending on the emote, if it's short, you want to put it on a button. If it's a long emote or if it's a looping emote, you want to make sure it's on a toggle. And if it's a looping emote, like this smug dance here, you want to make sure it's on loop time here. You want to make sure this is checkmarked. So what we want to do is just rename these now to the emotes that we have dragged and dropped in. Speed dancing, swing dance. And then this will be backflip point. Once we're done renaming those, what we're going to do is assign the emotes to either a button or a toggle. For the emote here, as an example, I want to set this one, since it's a pretty short emote, I'm going to set it to a button. And for this one, for the dance and dancing, I'm going to set it to a toggle. So let's go back to our emote menu here. We're going to set these three emotes to different types of buttons and emote, uh, toggles. So the first one here, we're going to set dancing here. So we're going to name it. The second emote was smug dance. And the third was back foot point. So once we've done that, what we can do now is assign the types. So dancing, I want it to be a toggle. For a smug dance, I want it to be a toggle. For a backflip point, I want it to be a button. Now, we need to assign these emotes right here to the parameters of VRC emote. So the parameter for VRC emote is here. It's already assigned. Uh, it's already assigned in our parameters here at the top. That's why we needed it earlier And basically what we're going to do is just assign one two three up to eight if you're using all eight uh, For the emotes, so we just click our parameters VRC emote and the value we're going to set to one Same thing here. However, our value since this is the second emote here it's set to 2 and then this one is set to 3 and so on down here so what we're going to do is set the value to the corresponding emote that we want and once we're done there we're going to make sure these are how we want it for our toggles and buttons this is very important since this one here is a toggle the exit animation uh, has to have no exit time basically so with the exit time it's going to keep playing through the animation even though you have it on a toggle so we're going to click our exit transition here and make sure this is unchecked more and we need to add a condition VRC emote and we're going to do not equal to one this is essentially just the opposite of this one so on off so this is on this is off we toggle it if this is check mark that means it's going to wait for this animation to stop playing even if you hit this it's going to keep playing it and it's not going to go through so make sure this is unchecked mark for the smug dance we're going to make sure it has the same thing so it does not have an exit time and this one is already some of these emotes for VR chat that they already set up uh, are set up that way depending on the emote that they put on alright for our backflip point animation we're going to make sure since it's a button it has an exit time and the conditions are empty so we are good there now that we have set our emotes we are basically done we want to verify that they are in the slots that we put them in and now what we can do is go and build and test our avatar. Alright, our avatar is now built. Let's go back into the game and test it out. 
is going to be under other here. Just click on it, click change. Looks like we're loaded. Let's go to our expressions menu. So it does work. We have our sub menu here. Now we have just all three animations here. So let's test them out. Okay, so that works. And that works. So that's basically it with the expressions menu. That was a quick tutorial on how to set up your emote menu. You can add way more uh, emotes into submenus and do with however many they allow you. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to toggle objects and using world constraints as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.